Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Samster Games, Amanda Play Strategy Games. Today we're going to be playing the daily challenge of the 17th of October with the Ironclad Insanity, where we start with a random deck of 50 cards Vintage, which is insanely strong. And binary, where we're not going to get many more. We only can pick between two cards, but that means we're not going to get that many new card options. But Insanity with the Ironclad is going to be huge, and Vintage, wow. And you can see that the score is fairly high. I'm not gonna go through the top 100 like usual because we're gonna have a very slow internet so it would take forever and probably like turn on and off and we have to wait a long time so we're just gonna go straight into it. But Insanity with Ironclad seems really interesting. Let's see what we get. Ooh, two Searing Blows, a Double Tap, wow. Inflame, Impervious, Bludgeon, Limit Break, wow, we could go for Inflame and Limit Break, we can go for Strength Build. Twin Strike, Clash, Box Strike, Spot Weakness, oh, we, another Inflame, we're going for Strength Build, absolutely. Okay, let's pick as many Elite Monsters as we can, one, two, one, two are our only options, and we can go to the second shop, I don't think we have much money. Oh, and we should definitely go for, for a Mind Blast, if we can buy it at the shop. That'd be really, really good. With Fiend Fire... Hmm. Fiend Fire would be good on Sentinel. We get extra energy, but then we can do something. Go with Inflame. Sentinel. Body Slam. And now we can go with Clash. We can actually kill this guy. Which is really cool. Shockwave. Let's go with Flex. We, well, we could intimidate him, spot weakness him, shockwave. That's it, because we have no attacking cards in our hand. I mean, we get hit for a little bit, so it's fine. Uh, headbutt, and he is a bit. Ornamental fan, very good. Especially from the beginning, because like I said, we are going for a strength build. Um, let's start with searing blow, I guess. We get it again next turn. Ooh, flex. Spot Weakness, Inflame, oh no, I messed up, I was gonna use one of these but I messed up with the energy, but we still have 5 energy which is fantastic, Bash, and Intimidate, well, that's it, we can do Splash, which is a little unfortunate but it's fine, Immolate and he's dead, okay, this is going well so far, if we use Evolve, we could use a double tap on... If we use double tap on Rampage, is the second Rampage higher? Yes it is. That's fantastic. I like that. And Immolate and it's dead. What's Prayer Wheel? Normal enemies drop an additional card reward? Okay. Can we get a Mind Blast? No. I will take Bandage up though. I do like the ability to heal extra. Double tap on Pinfire is useless. But Fiendfire would do okay, 4 times 7. Yeah, that should be fine to kill one of these. The other one is gonna hit us for a little bit higher, 9 instead of 6, but I don't think we have to worry about that. Hmm, do we wanna go with Blood for Blood? No, we'll go with the uh, Reaper. Heal a little and Rampage. You can kill him next turn, no problem. Just like with Whirlwind. Ooh, I like the new effect for Rowan, it's fantastic. We said we want to go this way, but maybe we could go this way, doesn't really matter. Okay, three... You seeing red, let's start with that. Go with Spot Weakness, Shockwave... Really? Uh, if we use the Gambler's Brew... I mean, the chance that you get a better defense is not that high. If I drink the Dexterity, I'm still only gonna have 7 instead of 9, so I'll just give up on perfection here. But I mean, the perfection only matters with the boss. And besides, we do have an attacking build, so if I'm completely honest, we're probably not gonna do perfection here anyways. But we will try to get uh, maybe the Curses bonus. Now, we could do 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 times 12, or 9 da damage to everybody and heal, and headbutt on rage. 
Okay, first the uh, sentry is dead. Makes me happy. Rage, searing ball. Uh, intimidate. Yeah. Second win, like, why not? Why not? We'll use it. Because we can. We'll bandage up. Yes, we'll go with another Reaper. And with Whirlwind. Whirlwind's effect is really, really cool. I love it. Double tap on Immolate. He didn't need to do double tap, but double tap is really nice. Another Rage I'll take. Okay, I'm gonna upgrade for something. I oh, let me break. I knew there was something I really really wanted to upgrade because we are committing to a strength but and yes I can hear you screaming that it's a bad idea with you wanna get beyond perfect but I'm gonna give up on beyond perfect. I get rid of the sentinel. I don't like it that much. It's not my favorite part. Okay, tiny chest this oh I wish we could have done done better. That's okay. I use the ghostly armor and we can uh, copy a rampage and I don't think we're gonna Oh, let's copy. Let's copy language. Why not? I'm not gonna wake him up yet. I would like to use more powers. Yeah, except I don't have any strength. Um. Yeah, I guess we could attack him then. Is it worth it? Let's drink the gamblers. We'll try to get something else. Really like something like. No, still don't get anything useful. Shockwave would at least make him weak, and with Intimidate it's gonna make him weak for four turns. Okay, and next turn... Yeah, and now we're gonna hit him. Seriously, I can hit him now. Seeing red, let's do Shockwave, another Shockwave, and attack him. Now, he is gonna be weak for nine turns, so we might be able to do this perfectly. Let's go with Increase Dexter... no. We'll go with the uh, impervious and a headbot and give me ghostly armor. Okay. Now we're gonna go with rage, spot weakness, ghostly armor, bandage up, and a body slam. Okay, so far so good. He hasn't hit us yet. Now he's gonna be changing, so we can actually hit him with everything we have. If me next time he's gonna attack me, so I need another. I'll take another ghost armor again. The okay, next time we're gonna block, and then if I block for nine, it's only gonna be twelve. But I can kill him. If I use double tap on twenty three. Yes, we did this one perfectly. Yes. On the cloth, I think. Uh, do we wanna go? Let's go this way. We'll upgrade something. Possibly double tap. We have been using it a bit, so I think it might be a good idea to upgrade it. We can transfer my card, remove a card. Let's upgrade something again. Steering go is a bit pointless. I mean, I'm gonna upgrade the other limit break so that all our limit breaks are now super upgraded. Go we'll start with thunderclap, intimidate, and twin strike on this guy. Yes, he's dead. Bandage up is useless. I would like to use it and bandage myself up, but I have no nothing to bandage up, so yes, he's good. Singing bow, I like that. Ooh. Flex. Double tap on bash. Yeah, let's go. Yes, we're gonna get hit for 16, but first of all we can heal heal ourselves and second of all. It's fine. I'll go with Havoc. You get this arm, okay. This guy is gonna die. Like Lisa. Like with Rowan. Pentograph, okay. So I'm, I don't need to heal because I will heal because of the Pentograph. So let's upgrade the ghostly armor. I do like it, it gives me some nice defense. Okay. Hexaghost. Can we do it perfectly? I don't know. Drink our power potion. Really? We get like completely horrible options. Or the wall, I guess. I'm gonna have to use the ghost armor because I don't want to lose my... I don't want to lose it, the card. Reflex. Bash. Yeah, okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye, <laughs> uh, the unperfect. 
okay. Double tap on headbutt, I'm thinking. Give me ghosty armor for next turn and uh, another double tap, I guess, and we'll disarm him. Okay, double tap on... No, we cannot use Platinum now. Uh, okay. Let's use Gambler's Blood, hopefully we can get something now attacking. Because we have to double tap, so I wanted to just like attack him, but I can't. Uh, sh no, let's go... Yeah, Shockwave and Rampage. Thunderclap, Steering Ball. Reaper seems a bit useless. Let's go with... I guess we'll go with Fiend Fire. Not that we're gonna do that much damage, but... Just because it's the only attack we have in our hands, so... Inflame, Inflame... I'll go with Havoc. And Sentinel. Okay, we finally have some strength. Ooh, Sever Soul, deal 20 damage. Let's go with Flex, Spot Weakness. Ooh, Carnage. Yeah, Carnage was better. Could have gone with Reaper as well, but I think it's fine. I'm not too worried about my HP. Blood for Blood, Metallicize, Flash, Sword Boomerang, Headbutt. See? No need to worry about my HP. Ooh, I'm gonna take Demon Form because we're going to Strength Build, but... Um... Yeah, let's go no intention wise. I mean, we already gave up on Beyond Perfect the moment we chose Demon Form. But... Okay, two elite monsters, three elite monsters, off we go. Okay. Double tap on... Sever Soul. And we cannot see for how much exactly they're hitting us, but... Okay. Ooh, Thunderclap I'll start with. I think Carnage and Impervious. Intimidate, so they hit us for less. We'll go with Clash, Reaper, Twin Strike. Okay, next turn he's dead. It's gonna hit us for a bit here. No, actually only for two. I thought it was gonna be for more. And yeah, let's go with this. Bye bye, and then we get a red skull. Oh, that's good. So if we are below 50% HP, we heal extra, and we can get a mind blast. Yes, we get him, and also bag of marbles, so that the mind blast is gonna be extra strong. Absolutely, this is just so good. Okay, mind blast on you. I don't know which one of them is hitting me. Just kind of have to guess. Maybe the, all of them. We'll see. Oh, fiend, no, let's go with the Whirlwind. It's gonna do... Yeah, it should all stun... Well, the one that we're not hitting, they're gonna be stunned, so that's good. Sword Boomerang, I'm happy with Havoc. And he's dead. Bottle Tornado, okay, Demon Form. And However, there's a slight problem with this that I don't think we can use demon form together with mind blast just yet because the mind blast doesn't have the upgrade so i might actually ignore this elite monster and go this way towards this rest site because i really really want to upgrade it so that we can use both demon form and mind blast because as you can see right now i can only use one of these things and i'm gonna use my boss preserved insect yes okay let's upgrade the mind blast now and now the first turn is essentially going to be mind blasting the enemy and demon form. And we can just like destroy them. Okay, demon form, mind blast to kill you. How come the bag of marbles didn't make make him one? Oh, because they have artifacts. Okay. Let me intimidate and disarm him. We'll go with searing ball. Reaper is useless even if we have energy for it because he is too high of a block. Okay, double tap on Flash and Body Slam. And we're gonna get hit for 
quite a bit here, but it's okay. Anchor, yes, I like anchor. Because that first turn, not only we now get to do Demon Form and Mind Blast, but we also get some block, which is really cool. Demon Form first, Mind Blast on you. 85 damage. Gonna hit us, I think, for a bit. No, 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 they're doing the rituals. Which is, I forgot about this. Flex, bandage up. Um, a Chalkwave and Searing Blow on one of them. Yeah, they attack for 4 because they're weak and 6 otherwise. Limit break, and we'll go with Rage and Reaper. Oh wow. One of them is dead. That went off. Okay, Immolate, and this one's dead too. It's like insanely. Oh, and we get Mummified Hand. Wow. Okay, so this is even better because now we can use Demon Form. Something's gonna be free, like Rampage. Mind Blast to kill the middle guy, I think. Rampage to hit that one. This one is like not ideal because he's gonna... Oh, we could use energy potion, but it's not gonna be useful. This one is going to... Make me... Stop me from being able to hit them. But... We should defend. We should be able to kill them next time. Reaper? And what? Being a disarm. Okay, now we can kill him? It rampage, yes. Uh, no, I'm just gonna increase my max. Entrench isn't bad, but honestly, if, since we have a power deck, it doesn't matter. Oh, but we should be taking cards. I'll take another in flame, because we do have the mind boss, so we gotta remember that. Let's upgrade something. Like flex, for example. Ooh, dark sunfire. I would like curses actually. Wouldn't be bad. Ooh, demon form. Double tap on mind boss. He's dead. That was perfect. And we get extra points for this one too. Ooh, this one was really good. I'll take heavy blade. And we can upgrade, um, Whirlwind. Yeah, let's upgrade it. Why not? We have a lot of potions, so we might actually... I don't know how much he's hitting us for on that first turn, to be honest. So let's start with Demon for Mind Boss. I'll use Ghostly Armor, Headbutt. Give me Mind Boss again next turn, we'll hit him. And I'm gonna drink the Plated Armor and the Dexterity Potion, just to get a little extra. So, 16 is his regular attack, I believe. Mind Blast. 55 damage. Havoc. Legend. I can draw more cards, just to see what I can get. If I drink the energy potion, I can use Shockwave. Still gonna do Splash, though. Yeah. Oh, we didn't get hit yet. Question is, can we kill him soon enough? If I intimidate him... Use Sentinel. We're gonna use one of these cards and Sever Soul. So let's use Twin Strike. Oh no, now we can use Inflame and Sever Soul. Oh. But he's gonna hit us now, I think. Oh no, he isn't. Oh my god, this is. We still have a chance, guys. Okay, we gotta think this through. If we use Inflame and Evolve, we can then use Rampage and Clash, which is 46 damage. That's not enough. Start with Rampage. Right, Inflame. I, I have to use Evolve to use Clash. Okay, Inflame. Oh no, now I can- oh, I can use it now. Yes, we did it, guys! We did a boss perfectly, even though we couldn't see intense. I mean, you gotta admit that's a little extra, extra quality. We did, we did extra well because we couldn't see what he was gonna do, and we still managed to do it perfectly. Okay, we're gonna go towards this shop and couple of question marks if we can. Only one elite monster. Okay, we'll fight. Uh, where do we have the most question marks in here? So we go towards this elite monster through this path because I would like to get some curses if possible. 
Be rage first, demon four, mind boss to kill you. Flash on this guy, wild strike, rampage. Okay. This one's hitting us, but it's fine. Blood for blood, no. Start with rage. Ever? Oh, we get limit break? Cool. 22 damage. Still not enough to kill them though. I'm gonna use it because what else should we use? Uh, bandage up, ghostly armor, flash, head parts with another mind blast and heavy blade to kill this guy. Next time we can just kill this one with mind blast or something. Well, with anything really, but I'm gonna use the mind blast just because I can. Ooh, first turn. We are using for three energy demon form, for one energy mind blast, and we could get double tap to use the mind blast twice. Extra cool. each of these come back with two strength. Now I'm gonna buy a secret weapon. Do you wanna do? Now let's buy some potions and trip. Did we go the right way? Yes, we did. Ooh. I'm gonna become cursed because I really, really want curses. Oh, we get pain. Pain is really bad curse, but I'll take it anyway. I'd really like to get the curse bonus. Okay, now. Demon form. Which makes metallicize free, which makes inflame free, which makes shockwave free. And now we're gonna use a double tap on mind boss. He is kaput. Oh, and we get orichalcum on top of that. Thank you, game. I'm gonna upgrade the demon form. We're using it anyways, so. Where is it? Here. So it might as well give us a little extra strength. Uh, let's go towards this nemesis. Hello, nemesis. Okay, demon form, double tap, mind boss. Okay, we get another extra point, spot weakness. I'll take that. Okay, demon form, double tap. Flex, and we'll use Mind Blast on the Spikers because I really don't like how they increase the turn. Okay, now we have to focus on these Exploders. It should be fine. I hope, anyways. Wild Strike, Evolve, Metallicize, Evolve, Buffalo. Some of them are probably hitting us, yeah. We're gonna have to get rid of these Exploders very, very soon, otherwise they're gonna explode on us, and I'd really like if that didn't happen. Uh, trip. Let me explode. Well, explode. Let me destroy that guy, this guy, and head back on you. Budget next turn so we can kill the Repulsa. No problem. Hi, my Repulsa. Fantastic. Oh, this is going really well. This is a. Oh, we get chain. Okay, how many curses do we have? Do we have three? I need two more. Give me two more, please. One, two, three. Okay, two more. Two more, please. That's all I want. I want some curses. Ooh, I lose Berser. I want curses, please. Letter opener. I'll take Lantern. I do like the additional energy on the first turn. Wait, and I'm gonna buy poison. I can't buy poison because I have bow. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Okay, as usual, demon form, double tap, mind blast on you. We can use uh, Evolve and second one. Yeah, this one's hitting us, that's cool. Uh, double tap on nothing, because there's absolutely nothing we can use. I use Impervious just in case somebody is attacking us for a lot. 17, yeah, that was a good move. Trip on you. Ooh, Bash, Headbutt. Take double tap for next one. I'm gonna go with Chalkway. To make him a bit weaker. Double tap on Searing Ball and he's dead. He is dead. Self forming clay, absolutely. Can we get a curse, please? I want a curse. No. Small red mask. Take from others as I have taken from you. Okay. Curse. Two curses, please. No. 
Can we get a mind blast then? So can I get a curse? Dramatic entrance. Dark shackles. So we're not gonna get a curses bonus, which makes me a little sad, because I really like that. Let's we'll start with Donu as usual. We'll drink the Thorns. Okay, and we'll go with Double Tap, Demon Form, Inflame, and Mind Blast is the first thing I want to have twice. Then we'll go with Chromatic Entrance. Sorry, the Sword Boomerang, because then I want to double. Chromatic Entrance, I don't really care about. Let's drink all the Dexterity Potion and the Entropy Brew Potion, just so we can see our options. I'm going to actually draw more cards because. I have enough energy so I can afford to use them. Now, he's hitting us for 2 times 13 I think. And this guy should be increasing the strength. So we, we have a slight chance of doing this perfectly even though we can't see what they're doing. Now Dono is hitting us for 2 times 16 I believe. That's gonna be less now, I don't know how much less. If I use dual wield on Carnage... I can use Carnage twice to actually kill him. This guy is not attacking me this turn. So we should be fine. Now he's hitting me for 2 times 13 I believe. It's probably too much for us. Yeah, because now I can I don't have a... I can weaken him, but I don't actually have a defensive potion, so we're gonna get hit here. It's unfortunate, because it, it looked really nice. Looked like we might be able to do this perfectly, even though we can't see them. But we yeah. are. But we will be able to win quite easily, anyways. Flex, Rip, Ghosty Armor, Body Slam, and Clash. And he's dead. Wow, we killed him in like three turns. What is that score? 1000! Oh, I never got like 1000 precisely. That's really, really cool. I'm really happy with this. Show me my score. What did we get? We get perfect ones, and this was with n n not being able to see their intents. So we got three times champion, overkill, encyclopedian. I like that. I like shiny. I like that as well. Yeah, and we get we we fought some elite monsters, so we get and light speed also helped us. It's unfortunate we didn't get the curses because then we would have a much much better score. I mean, if we had the curses, we would be like really 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 good score. Did we get 393? Okay, that's that's not the worst. And there are only two more people who have the exact same score as us, which makes me happy. So I'm pretty happy with this score. I think we played really well, but I have to admit this was like an easy daily. This wasn't like a crazy hard daily because Vintage is fantastic and Insanity is actually quite good with the Ironclad because to get these um, really good cards like Limit Break, Spot Weakness, and especially this time we got a really good combo, like we had mostly attacking cards, a good attacking card, so essentially kind of created the way for an attacking build. So that's good, like if you have like an even amount of stuff it can be sometimes problematic to decide if you want to go for a barricade or attack. But here it was like everything was oriented towards attack, so it was really good. So I'm very happy with this one. I hope you enjoyed this episode, I definitely did, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!